All right, guys, this uh, video is about the uh, thermostat controller for the Chinese diesel heater. We'll go through all the buttons and what they do. So stick around and let's get at it. Okay, first of all, we've got the set button up in the top left. I don't know if you can even see that. Uh, the OK button down bottom left. Up arrow, top right, down arrow, bottom right. Center button is to turn the, fan, uh, the, the unit on or off. One, t one click to turn it on, a press and hold to turn it off. Uh, the symbols, we've got the uh, clock symbol here, a timer, tells you what time it is. It's 9.37 in the morning right here, right now. Then we've got the uh, Bluetooth symbol, meaning that my key fob, which is right here, that's my key fob, it is connected. Then on the top corner we have the battery telling that it's powered up, it's got power. Uh, the symbol for the unit itself right here, little fan in the end, uh, that little symbol there is uh, the motherboard is on uh, in the unit and there's little bars here, <clears throat> two green bars. Uh, <clears throat> I've just had it on a little while ago so it's still kind of warm. Uh, bars will appear here, two green, two yellow, two red as it gets hotter and as it gets cooler they go out. Down the bottom you get the little arrows, uh, exhaust and intake flashing when it's on and um, working. So the first thing you want to do is uh, to prime your unit when you first set it up. And in order to prime it, it all depends on the length of your hose. If you've got a long way to go and you press the primer buttons to get it to prime, It'll take a long time for the fuel to get through the system to the to the heater. That's not very good for the pump because the pump is running dry then and it needs lubrication because it's metal on metal. So you fill the hose with uh, uh, diesel fuel, like suck the diesel fuel up through the filter and into the pump and then do the priming. And how you prime it is, once you got the, the fuel to the pump, then you can prime it and you press the bottom two buttons and hold them in. <clears throat> it says H off. Uh, the pump is off. Um, I'm going to turn it on and I'll turn it off again. But if you press it once, the up arrow, it's on. And the, the pump will start pumping. You can see the symbol of the pump came on. And now it, it would be pumping fuel uh, up to the, the heater. It doesn't mean it's going to come on, but it's going to get fuel primed, <clears throat> ready to go into your heater. Okay, <clears throat> back to the time. So once you've got it primed, the next thing you want to do is probably set your time. Your time symbol there shows you that you're in timer mode. And when you go and do other things on it, uh, like showing the voltage or what have you, it times out after a certain amount of time and goes back to the time. So you've only got so, so long of a period of time in order to set uh, set things. So let's go for setting the time. You press the settings button and the first digit starts flashing and you can use your up and down arrow now to uh, change the time on the on the first digit. Pressing the OK gets you to the second digit allowing you to change whatever time it is time of day that you have. So press OK again <coughs> OK again. That's our last digit Pressing OK again brings you into the timer mode. We're one off. Number one is off. We can put it on. <clears throat> now we can set our time timer to come on at a certain time. Right now I have mine set for 7.20 in the morning. And you go through the digits again by pressing the OK and up and down arrows to change them. You get to the last one. That's the time it goes off. So the t 
Timer number one goes on at 7.20 and goes off at 8.20. That's what I have it set for. So we'll go through this to 7.820. Now it's allowing you to do your second timer. And uh, I don't really want to set the second timer at the moment, but you can adjust the second timer. The flashing four number, uh, lines are indicating to put a password in to get to change uh, uh, certain things. You can change your RPM, you can change your voltage. Uh, see, it timed out and the timer came back on. And now you can see the little, the time symbol and the timer. It's set for a certain time. I don't want to have that on at the moment. So I will go through and uh, adjust that again. So pressing the set key gets you to the time. Pressing it again gets you to the on. I'll turn it off. I guess down arrow to turn it off. Pressing it again gets you into the uh, where you would put in your password. Okay, now that we're at the time mode again, if you press the OK button, it shows that it's 27 degrees in here. And uh, there's a tiny little circle degree symbol by the C there indicating that that's the temperature that's currently in the room. That's pretty warm. I just had my heater on and I'm, because I'm probably holding this in my hand, uh, it's picking up a uh, temperature from my body also. Press the OK again. The uh, degree symbol is very large now. That's indicating the temperature that you would like to have it in the room. Up and down arrow keys. I want it to go to 21 and uh, stay there. So I'll leave that. Press it again. 12.5 volts. It's got 12.5 volts. E00 means that there are no errors with the system. There is 10 errors it can have, so it would be E10 or E987, whatever error you have for either no fuel or no voltage or whatever the problem is, it would give you the error code. And you look it up in your book and it would tell you what your problem was. Pressing it again gets you back to the time. Um, let's press it once. That's the temperature that it's uh, in the room right at the moment. Press it again. Gives you the temperature, your target temperature, what you want to set at. Now sometimes this will not be like that. Let's go back to the time. If you press it once, gives you the temperature. If you press it again and you get a P symbol, then it's uh, pumps per second or hertz. You don't want that. So let's get back to the time and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, the top two buttons, press them in and it says P minus 3.2. That's hertz or pumps per second. 27 degrees in here at the moment. Press the OK again. P 3.2 is pumps per second that you you want it to pump at so it would be no temperature so to get back to the temperature mode the top two buttons and we're back into the temperature mode with the large uh, degree symbol indicating that's the target temperature so you press it we're at the time you press it once gives you the temperature in the room at the moment press it again gives you the temperature your target temperature press it again gives you the 12.4 volts no error codes and back to the time now for some reason you get your key fob and you have to your your it's not connected which means you wouldn't won't get the uh, Bluetooth symbol in the corner there and or you change battery you're gonna have to uh, uh, bind it or pair it with your uh, controller again to do that you would hold the um, top up arrow key for a few seconds. We get HFA. At this point in time, you would press the on button on your uh, key fob and it would pair your key fob with your controller. Okay guys, uh, I think it's time to start it up and to show you what, the, what goes on with these symbols in here. To do that, you can push your key fob, which I'll do, or you can press 
the on button, the center button here on, it'll say the word on, and it'll start working. Uh, to turn it off, you press and hold until it says off, and then it would be off. I'm going to use my key fob, and you'll see the uh, um, Bluetooth symbol flash and that word on. And the little fan starts turning. You can also see right above my finger, there's a, it, it's, it's red. It's a little glow plug came on, which means that glow plug is on and it's uh, heating up. There is no pump on yet, so it's not pumping any fuel. Just the glow plug is on, getting up to temperature. And that's where you get your battery uh, draw at the moment is the glow plug. And that only stays on until the fuel gets ignited, the pump starts pumping and the fuel gets ignited, and then the, the glow plug goes out and you just your voltage usage is only on the fan itself, which is very minimal, um, less than an amp, half an amp maybe. And you can see the little bars across the bottom. There's one there now. Uh, when it gets a little warmer, a second green one will be a little higher. And then uh, we get into the yellow colors higher again. And the red is, is the tallest. Um, it'll be way over on this side here. You can see the little arrows on the bottom flashing. The exhaust and the intake are working. And in a few seconds here, the uh, fuel pump will come on indicating there it just came on and now it is pumping and my pump is in the unit here and you can't even hear it so no I well I can barely hear that I can't hear the fan yet at all so now I don't want to have it come on because it's already 28 de degrees in here and so I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to use my key fob and I'm going to press the off and it says the word off and now it's going to shut down it's it'll pump for a while uh, there is a, a startup and a shutdown procedure that takes a couple of minutes either way when you turn it on it takes a couple of minutes before for it's up to temperature and running smoothly and uh, when you shut it off it's the same thing it's the fan runs for uh, fast for a little while and the pump st still pumps and then after a minute or two everything sh slowly shuts down so it's not instant and I guess in a nutshell that is how the thermostat works and uh, if you guys have any questions about the thermostat or want to know anything else about it or something that I've covered quickly and you want to know more information about it please put your comments down below and uh, I'll answer them all and uh, give you more insight on how this diesel heater functions uh, again guys uh, if you haven't already done so please subscribe uh, uh, give me that likes the thumbs up the share uh, the comments, ring the bell in the corner so that you can be notified uh, when I do set out a new um, video like this one here. You'd be the first to be notified and you can go have a look and, and see what it's about. So all in all guys, that's it. That's the controller and uh, you can go back and look at part one and part two of the diesel heater. Uh, how it actually functions and I did an interview with uh, a, a YouTuber about the diesel heater and how they experience it and uh, this is part three of a three-part series on the uh, thermostat and how that works so thanks guys for coming out and uh, taking the time out of your day um, to come and, and watch my humble videos and uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so ring the bell share like and support in all any way that you can thank you guys